Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, lovely people. Uh, my name's Jude. And uh, I was just told a very interesting uh, fact uh, about the event that took place here 20 years ago um, when Jeremy launched Peace One Day. And uh, he apparently invited 2,000 people and 140 showed up, um, mostly Jeremy's friends. And we were just saying backstage, look at this tonight. This is amazing. And it's such a thrill to be here. Um, I have been on this journey with Jeremy for 12 years. I got involved, uh, yeah. <laughs> I got involved um, in 2007. Uh, I was doing, uh, I was trying to show support, and I was doing a piece to camera for him that he was gonna use on, on a website, and I happened to ask him at the end of that uh, what he was doing next, and he said he was going to Afghanistan, and he jokingly said, do you want to come? And I, I, I'd known Jeremy for a while, and I looked at him and I thought, well, if he's going, why shouldn't I go too? So I said, yeah. And uh, we went to Afghanistan together to support the process that involved many, many partners. And at that time, it was to see whether a ceasefire could be manifested on this day. And it worked. It was a remarkable process to watch. Yeah. And because of it, four and a half million children were inoculated against polio. And since then, I've watched Peace One Day take this message to the people of the world. We've had events in the Democratic Republic of Congo, we've been in Ireland, we've been to The Hague, we've been all over the world. And he's continuing, it's continuing, to show the world what a simple message really this organization stands up for, which we all understand, but that we've got to keep spreading, which is that people want peace. You will learn more about the institutionalization of the day throughout tonight and the targets that the organization have. You've all been a great part of this process. Thank you for supporting it. I will continue to support it and uh, happy peace day.